But this croc is mean. Let's kill some of the baby crocs as we go around the pool. There's the big croc over there. This is Godzilla versus Kong. I'm going to lose my gorilla already, but that's okay. It's, it's, you know, it's just pixels. There you go. He's doing 21 damage. Yeah. He, now, he is breaking their armor. That's good to know. So he actually does sunder their armor. That's going to be really helpful in the fight against the big croc. Are you up for this, King Kong? <sighs> King Kong's... King Kong's... We brother. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Look at it. Hopefully there's no more babies around here. Come on. Oh, I've got favor of Yogg. So I've got my stamina buff. Come on then. Let's go. You are... Th oh my god, one hit. Oh, he is sundered though. Oh no, King Kong's gonna die. We should leave already. Look how little damage I'm doing to this. Oh no, flee. Flee. Move King Kong's brother. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, there's no way. I don't want to lose him unnecessarily. We're disengaging. We're disengaging. <clears throat> okay, come on. Come on, buddy. We're disengaging. I didn't take a hit with my heavy medium armor mix i'm glad about that but you oh, look at you, you're nearly dead you're nearly dead <laughs> okay this oh no he's still coming are you kidding oh my lord that was close <laughs> greetings adventurers it is i les Grumbles. and we're back with part three, is it three? It should be three, of our Conan Exiles beginner friendly let's play. Last time out, we got ourselves uh, another couple of useful folks for the village uh, Carpenter, amongst others, a sorcerer. And uh, yeah, we had a little kerfuffle. We, we, we red shirt one, uh, retired, and was replaced. In their duties by red shirt too yeah re retirement it's, it's rough it's a tough world uh, <laughs> um they were forcibly retired uh anyway uh and uh yeah we unlocked the power of sorcery by visiting uh uh Karuk's cave and uh we learned that we needed some crystal to make the thermatology table and get into that we do have our Defari medicine man uh, as well to do some uh, who's who's uh, I think I've renamed him Harry Potter or something we'll see in a minute um, but before uh, so we're gonna go out and adventure we've got to go and collect a whole load of uh, crystal uh, bits and bobs uh, I've done another metal run because I've been using uh, quite a few bits of metal uh, we've also got a couple of level ups to look at so that's gonna be uh, interesting maybe we'll start with a little look at where we're at and how invest in our attributes further um, and uh, yeah, other things that we probably will touch on if we have enough time is some uh, farming uh, and fish traps and things like that. Uh, and we hit level 30. So I think we need to pause for a moment because that's quite a big step forward in the game. So you can see I got a war paint from the Black Hands. And uh, yeah, when you uh, right click on that, it puts the Black Hand war paint on your body. So that's pretty cool. Right, y'all. Quick coughing fit out of the way. I have a cup of coffee, and I hope, and some good vibes to share with you. And I hope that you're sitting, standing, lying comfortably. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's do this, shall we? Let's have a look at where we got soul. And um, just by gathering some materials, processing some stuff, and doing a little bit of building and whatnot, uh, and having a bit of a, a, a scuffle with the locals a couple of times. Uh, I've ended up hitting level 30, so that happened quite quickly without me even sort of trying, so interesting. Um, again, we're on more or less base settings for everything with a little bit of buff to gathering and, and speed of transforming thralls and stuff like that. Um, you can check in the doobly-doo below to see the settings of the uh, server, as it were. 
Uh, here are our current attributes. We have two points unspent. We're on our way to invest in more authority to give some buffs and uh, whatnot, some good leadership to our thralls. We're also investing in agility in this run through. And we've got a bit of a mixed match because we've also buffed our stamina and a bit of carry weight in expertise and looking after our tools, but not too much. So I'm going to put these two unspent points in authority. That's going to give us the perk Irritate. So active followers will gold enemies attempting to force them to attack your follower. So good luck, Reg33. Uh, under Knowledge, uh, we now have, uh, if we're looking at our sort of cornerstone points, uh, quite a lot of the base is covered. Um, but m in more detail uh, for uh, construction, we've got Journeyman Masonry, uh, Mason rather, which is your tier 2 building. Um, and uh, once we hit tier 3, wow, so many things unlock, you'll see, because I've got lots of DLCs. But we're trying to stick to just mostly the base game. I'm also using a little bit of the uh, Salvager, so the stuff from Isle of Sipta DLC, the other map you can buy. Um, but apart from that, we're mostly sticking with base game materials, which I'll show you as we go in. Uh, go, uh, further to the to the camp um, I've also unlocked a couple of decorative items uh, the chair maker specifically was one uh, and you'll see why in a moment <laughs> uh, as for survival now that we've hit level 30 we're able to unlock steel tools which will then in turn allow us access to things like master blacksmith master carpenter and so forth um, so let's go ahead and do that and we'll talk about that as we proceed through the episode so master blacksmith master carpenter master tanner and a potion maker okay so that's a very significant milestone and upgrade to a lot of what we're going to be doing going forward it's not the last one but it's a big one uh, under primitive cook uh, we've also had for quite a while actually fisher which we're going to look at today we've now got access to the fluid press uh, which is another exciting one we can go into brewery you can see the journey for brewing uh, has just unlocked uh, and then we've got the stove soon TM uh, that unlocks wait that unlocked at level 29 so why have we not got the stove unlocked oh because I have no points available I spent them all whoopsie okay well maybe the next level up or so we'll be able to <laughs> unlock the stove and look at some better cooking that's fine uh, we do have the peasant farmer unlocked so we can look at the beginnings of that. Uh, let's crack on, shall we? Good vibes. Okay, so, uh, oh, I, yeah, I might. So, you know how we've been hiring a lot of interns, a lot of, a lot of hired help? I felt like they needed somewhere to hang out. So, while I was upgrading my house, which I've gone for the stone brick on this one, instead of the insulated wood for one, just to use something different. Um, <clears throat> I decided that all of our our little burgeoning village needed to improve a bit. So I made a little central, I don't know, uh, lit up area. And then I, well, I had to, because it wasn't designed to be connected to this building, the working uh, workshop area, I kind of had to fudge it a little bit with some stonework there. And luckily that worked out quite neatly. Um, and then I built, well... What can you say, really? Just a cheeky little, uh, cheeky little, cheeky little tavern. Uh, the dog and sausage. So welcome to the dog and sausage, everybody. A little bit of outside seating. Got some indoor seating with some warmth, some light. A uh, bit of decrepit furniture. You know, we've we, 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 we not got a lot of things yet. So, again, trying to stick with mostly base game stuff and things that we've unlocked just by playing. Uh, I've put the uh, bar in. I used the... Uh, veneer bar that I've got from one of the uh, battle passes of the past um, but the it does exactly the same as the other bar it just looks a bit different so that's no no harm there uh, and then yeah I've just laid out some tables and chairs a few flagons these are all decorative items that I've either picked up from looting or um, you can make by unlocking uh, the table maker for example uh, and the chair maker so nothing special going on there. Here's Zara, a lovely dancing lady. So she's entertaining everybody in the tavern now. Uh, and I'm very happy to report so far from the hotfixes that I know people's experiences have varied a lot. But so far, none of my thralls seem to have gone missing. Um, and they're no longer falling through floors or anything like that. We've got the thrall pot over there, so they're going to get, go and get their food. 
We've got the wheel over in the corner. <clears throat> We've got this bench area for them to hang out. Uh, and then the workshop for them to do their work at. And so far, so good. Uh, all of them still seem to be here. And they do, I'm happy to report, uh, frequent the tavern. And they don't really get stuck there. You get a few little oddities sometimes getting in and out of chairs and whatever. But overall, they've been able to just come and go. And uh, yeah, look, do their jobs. Cooking's going on. Wonderful. Uh, I, they were sleeping in my bed a lot, so I had to go and tell them not to. Which, by the way, is a feature of the new uh, of the new update. So if you go over to any item like this, like you can uh, hold E on it, the interact button, and then here you can enable or disable for all use, and it shows you the current setting is disabled. So I've turned that off because they kept coming and sleeping in my bed. That's not on, you know. Alrighty, so. Uh, next up is, uh, oh, one other thing that we might look at today. I'll say I'll put it to on my notes here is religion. So we might have a quick look and I've got a thought of maybe tearing this thing down in the middle, moving the brazier and maybe we put the, uh, the yog pit into the middle there and, and have a look at some religion stuff. But we'll see. Um, first of all, we're going to continue on from where we left off. Uh, and we go, and no, you know what? The very first thing we'll do is because it's very simple is we'll just have a quick look at, we're not going to go in depth with it but we're going to have a look at farming which includes fish traps shellfish trap uh, crude planters and compost heap so i think we should have a look at that first let's grab some bricks that we made earlier i'm not sure how many we need so we'll just pick up 100 and that's probably enough and then we need some shaped wood 165 oh look there's 100 there that's Almost as if I was thinking about this before I started recording. Uh, okay, so in crafting stations, we look under farming and we can place a fish trap. She's going to need to go and get some more twine. So here we go. So you place this just into the water. You can see it goes green when it's ready to be placed. Uh, top tip on this is don't place too many of them. And you don't have to worry about it. Like you can do it for aesthetics or whatnot, immersion. And place them further into the water or however you prefer it um, but they don't need to be super deep just enough water uh, and off you go they don't have any animations I, d I believe like fish actually kind of going into them and whatnot uh, let's get some more twine here let's grab uh, 50 of those that'll do uh, let's put a shellfish trap down uh, so same oh this one actually needs to be more interesting this one oh okay so I've pressed the R key just to adapt it to the terrain and it was more this one was complaining uh, as opposed to the fish trap that it wanted to be kind of resting on the terrain more there we go so I'll put that there uh, don't place too many of those because I don't know if they've improved it over time but historically they always added a lot of load uh, onto your server or your instance so um, some people go crazy and you see like 10 of them whatever uh i'm just gonna grab some bugs because i believe that's the cheapest way of uh or really the way of running these and we're gonna go and put a bunch of bugs in there like so and there we go the crafting queue is now catching 50 fish it's got this pitch particular picture but you'll see that it sort of randomizes and picks different kinds of fish i think there may be some better baits that you can use oops uh to catch uh, different kinds of fish or increase the chances of it but again uh, I don't know that uh, as a relatively new player and that's a more in-depth thing that you can kind of learn and experiment and uh, you know something else I would encourage is just experiment over time so there we go we caught our first unappetizing fish lovely and here's our first shellfish coming in so I'm gonna grab one each of those so this is just another food source but also a source of some other ingredients that we can get over time. Well, that didn't seem to catch anything. I wonder if it's not a 100% chance. I've never really looked at it in that kind of depth. So maybe you don't get... Maybe it's not a one for one. I always just kind of assumed it was. Oh, huh, that's weird. It didn't catch another fish either. I wonder if that's sort of bugged in some way. All right, so we've got unappetizing fish. Um, and we can either take that in... And cook that on the campfire as usual. Again, we haven't unlocked the stove because of a lack of points. Or, I think, we should... Yes, if we put it on the dryer and we've got some bark in there, we can dry that fish. Uh, and that's going to last us two hours. 
Fantastic, except it isn't because nom nom nom, we've eaten it. Alright, not giving any f special food buffs because again that's just the uh, basic level. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be... Uh... Oh, there we go, we caught one. So we caught an unappetizing shellfish and we caught a savoury shellfish. So that'll work like a savoury, you know, the fish equivalent of a savoury uh, bit of flesh. <coughs> Wonderful savory meat yeah so it looks like it's not a hundred percent chance that's uh i'm just gonna take these out for a moment and put them back in just in case but yeah no it just carries on so it looks like it's not a hundred percent chance uh fascinating um okay i've never checked whether you can dry these shellfish on here you can so that just turned into dried fish as well that's interesting there you go um, so that's two hours for the shellfish as well. Let's have a look, a quick look at the improved campfire and see what that gives us. Boop. Uh, and that's just going to cook that straight up. Cooked savoury shellfish, which lasts for 33 minutes. Let's right click that and that just gives us sated as well. So same, same difference as the meat and whatnot, but if you don't want to go out farming stuff killing animals all the time or whatever you've got other priorities or you're just spending a lot of time around the base set yourself up some fish traps and some shellfish traps and uh and i would recommend a dryer uh, and just dry yourself off some uh some fish happy days um all right let's have a quick look here in the tavern oh here we go look look there's sawdust our carpenter She's having a little bowl of uh, soup or pot or, or whatever. There's Connell the Hammer. That name thrall that we got out of the cage. His Zara. And over here in the corner, who have we got? Uh, I can't see your name because you're... Oh, there you go. That's Kelly, our cook. Wonderful. So look, they're all coming and going and just living around the place. This is fantastic. I know the update still has its bugs. And I'm sorry again if you're uh, upset with it for whatever reasons. I get it. Um, but for me so far, it's been working uh, in single player. It's been working wonderful. All right. <clears throat> Adding some real uh, immersion to things. Okay, let's go uh, now. Actually, let's put some of those materials away so we're not carrying everything with us. Because we do have the risk of losing stuff and having to go and get it and whatnot again. Um, okay, let's grab... Let's put all those bricks back in the uh, kiln in the furnace. There we go. Okay, so before we start upgrading things around the camp... Um, oh, <laughs> I keep forgetting we're going to do the, we, oh my goodness, I am such a clutter brain today. Okay, we were going to just have a look quickly at the farming. <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. No, I won't. Um, okay, here we go. I'm excited. Uh, right, we're going to place down some planters. Um, we'll just put these in here, I guess, for now the edge of our little bit of property you can actually um overlap them into each other and make sort of different garden shapes and what looks like a, a bigger one and that kind of stuff it's pretty cool um and in these crude planters as the example shows here you can put some seeds and some compost and give it a bit of time and it will start growing the plant you'll be able to collect um some of the plant over time uh, so in order to grow stuff though, as we've just learned from that picture, we're going to need compost. So we need a compost heap. I think we'll put that over here next to the animal pen and that way, oh, it's too close to their camp. So it won't let me build that there. Let's see. Can I build it here? Yeah, here we go. There we go. Boom. Okay. Uh, and in here, we're going to have to put plant fiber, putrid meat. And then this one might be a bit hard to recognize or work out, but that's bone meal. So, uh, we go get some plant fiber in our basic ingredients box here. I'll take a thousand. Why not? Uh, we're going to take some bone. So, let's take, I don't know, a hundred. Uh, we're going to put the bone in our... Where did we put our grinder? That was over here, right next to the dismantling bench. Yeah. Oh, here's some I've already made earlier. That's lucky. So we'll put that in there anyway. Make some more. We'll take that 96. Uh, and then putrid meat. Well, funnily enough, lots and lots 
of the meat that we had here has expired and we kept it because we were going to use it in things. And now you can see one of the examples of where we're going to use it. So let's go over to our composter. You know, maybe I should just put it there next to the uh, garden thing, all this running back and forth, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> so putrid meat, there we go. Like so, and then bone meal. And then, hey presto, in the crafting queue, uh, compost. Now there's there's potent compost, there's other things you can make as well. I don't know all the recipes to that yet. So again, if you discover those or whatever as you go along, I encourage people, go, you know, find all the mysteries, discover things, or look on the Conan uh, fandom wiki pages um, or other websites. There's lots of information out there. Um, have at it. I choose not to uh, spoil too many things for myself. Occasionally I get stomped by things. Uh, and need to look something up, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, that's going to make 23 composts over time. So we'll leave that cooking. Um, and then we're going to put some seeds into these planters. Not actually sure what I've got in terms of uh, seeds. What have we got? Oh, look. We, oh, we got these thousand highland berry bush seeds. Okay. So we'll take 100 of those. We've got desert berries. And we've got aloe seeds. Well, that grows all over this place. Have I got any... Uh, thought I would have some lotus seeds not sure how I can what I can do to get the seeds I don't know if I can put them in the dryer let's try let's see if not we'll just put the aloe seeds in it's fine just to you know just have something growing um there are there are also some uh decorative planters that we can have a look at as well if we unlock that knowledge but as we just saw I've been spending my points a little bit frivolously so all right let's put some desert berry bush in there in the middle one we'll put some highland berry bush and then let's see i'm not sure if this is a thing i put that on there and dry that does that give me the seeds no hmm okay so i'm not sure whether we can get the seeds or if we just have to harvest more so in here we'll just for the sake of it we'll put the aloe we can see what the plants look like and there we go. So we've got these planters all lined up with the seeds. They don't expire. And when we come back from our little crystal adventure... Oh, we've already got our first piece of compost. So, scratch that. Let's come over here. We've got our desert berry bush seeds. Piece of compost. Boom! In the crafting queue. Desert berries. And that will eventually flower. And look really cool. Nice. Right, I think that really was the stuff that I wanted to build that we had the materials for um, right away without the level 30 pieces. Let's go on a little adventure. We need 50 pieces of crystal. Um, I think we had about 22 or something in storage in the meanwhile. We're going to take red shirt with us. We're all still in our medium gear. Um, but this is kind of a early game area and early game cave that we're going to. Down here is a little cave full of imps and strange contorted creatures. And we're going to go and pay them a visit and say, Hello, would you mind if we borrowed a little bit of your crystal, please? Let's have a look at these. How are these getting on? Oh, look at that. Exotic shellfish as well. So, and there you go. Savory fish, exotic fish. There we go. It's working fine. So uh, what you will also expect from that is once we get the stove unlocked, you will see that we'll be able to cook different fish dishes. Um, and one of the other really fun things in the game, I can't remember if I've, you know, I'm probably going to repeat a few things in the different episodes. But one of the other elements of the game is all these different recipes and lore that you can discover as you go around and just play through the game ordinarily and investigate new places and things. Oh, I'm thirsty, I just realised. Um, but one of the things that you'll discover is that um, there are some really cool cooking recipes. Um, not only can they come with the cooks and chefs, but you can actually discover um, some of them in the world as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get to see some of that. Thanks. Good job, Red Shirt 3. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see some of the recipes we unlock as we go through our adventure here together. I'm going to try to edit them out the best I can, but someone might leave in. I do apologize. I'm still trying to fight off this last of this sort of chest infection coffee thing. And sometimes I have to just stop and catch my breath and clear my throat. So 
obviously I'm not going to include a coughing fit. <laughs> but if I if there's a sudden moment where I just kind of stop dead like that and everything goes quiet, <laughs> you know, you know what's up. Oh, there he is. Let's go. I'm going to slide down that rock. Oh, hello. Right, we're in a fight. So again, these little imp dudes, they're kind of intended to be from very beginner stuff. Oh, we get demon blood. Oh, look how many there are. Yeah, so luckily we're well enough armored and armed at this point that they don't pose any kind of threat to us. But be warned, there is a bunch of them. So we're going to chop these up with our pickaxe. It's giving us some hide, some feral flesh. And sometimes, oh, one of them gave demon blood. I don't know if that was just a one-off. He spat on me. That's very rude. Oh, terrible. All right. Anyway, as you can see, they're coming from over here. And uh, I believe we're going to go in there and have a chat with their management. With their leadership team and say, what's all this about? Now, you see that we invested and we got that perk for authority. So they're all going after Red Shirt first. Which you know, means that just everything is okay in the world. <clears throat> Sorry, Richard. All right, let's go. Into this cavey cave. Hanuman's Grotto is the name of it. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't see anything. It's so dark in here. Let's get... Maybe we can get a torch out here. Guide our way. Ah! Now look. See that stuff? That's crystals, that is. Go after my minion. Go after my minion. Why are you going? Don't go after me. You are encouraged to go after my minion. There you go. Down like a sack of suns. Alright. Some demon blood. I'm using the pickaxe this time, so same difference as with the pick in this case. Okay, and if we come over here, we should be able to hit these. Oh, not those. Where? Which is it then? This? There we go. Crystal. Oh, that's easy. Yes. Let's get a whole bunch of this because crystal can be put in the furnace and turned to glass. As you'd probably predict. So let's get a bunch of that. We can always give it to Red Shirt to carry. All right. Here comes someone or something. Oh, look. It's a big fella. So I think that's their management team. Oh yeah, he's got one uh, he's got one skull. All right. Let's see. I don't think he's going to last too long against our iron ponyards. Stabby stabby. Where's uh, where's Red Shirt? Oh, he does that angry spinny damage thing. And now he's got confused. He's gone off to have a think about his life in the corner. Have a think about yourself, buddy. You're, you're very rude. All right. Hello? Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, weapons out again. Oh, it's putting me... I think it's putting me in water. So that's why I can't keep my weapons out. That's kind of silly, isn't it? Come on, bud. Don't make me get my bow out. You're, you're embarrassing yourself at this point. He's just got himself stuck in the water. That's It's kind of a pity that the game has those kind of little bugs sometimes. But, you know, it happens. Right. <clears throat> More crystal. Oh. I don't think I can get his body then in that case. Uh, okay. So I don't know if that was upper management. Oh, Imp King, it said. Okay. Oh, was he still alive? Was that what was happening? I think he may have still been alive somewhere and he went after Red Shirt. Where's his body? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, folks. I, I wanted to show you a bit more of that and see what the king had on him. But unfortunately, the game appears to have robbed me of that. Privilege. All right. Is that a gap down there to swim through? Maybe. What is this? I don't remember this at all. Okay. Wow. Is this a new thing? Or, I don't know. Uh, no, I think this was always here. I just don't... Uh, didn't remember it. Okay. Okay. Who are you? 
Hello? Oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh. Oh, wow. Uh, you, you're you called somebody the the loyal. Valis the loyal. Uh oh. Let's have a bit of a fight then, shall we? You're a three star boss. You're a three scholar. That's uh, not so good, is it? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, red shirt's in trouble. You picked the wrong fight. Well, I'm not sure if he did, because he's kind of winning. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Let's keep going, keep going. Okay, maybe the he's got his armor down because we gave him we gave him that mace. Okay, there we go. We got him. Oh, that was pretty close, actually. All right, sir. What have you got? Uh, oh, his body sprung back into the middle there. Wow. Okay, so he's quite a tough fight if you were here on your own. But let's see what he's got. He's got some exciting stuff on him. He's got a silent legion tacit. That's heavy armor. 275 armor value and it gives you five stamina points as well <gasps> we'll wear that straight away uh he's got a heavy coin pouch aloe extract feline pelt spice steaks weapon repair kit armor repair kit staff of hanuman uh hanuman which is a legendary weapon it's a strength weapon, so not so good for my build, but that's interesting. Health damage 36, it's got reach and it's got armor pen of 9. Okay, and we've got a withered heart. The heart of a worshipper of Hanuman. Okay, wow. That is, uh, that's awesome. Let's put some light on this place. Might as well carve him up. Uh, and then, oh, there's a chest here and a book to learn from. Two books to learn from. Uh, your sacrifice has been accepted. You are over encumbered. What? What was that? Oh, it's given me. What's this? It's given me a gorilla. This summons a protector of Hanuman to your side. It's a pet item. Oh my. I've never done this before. Wow, that's cool. Oh, Lord of the Darkness. Oh, it's got a ring. Let's listen to this. Give us strength and suffering in equal measure. Let our bodies be pleasing to you, and our minds quieted from this conscious thought. Let us find the inner rages and loose them upon the earth. We give our sacrifice into your hands. Appease your thirst in the slickness of blood. Grant us the power of your might, the eternal strength of Hanuman. That's fantastic. So by putting that withered heart into that box, we gain this pet. Oh, wow. Moldy notes. The others may have perished a long time ago, but I will remain. My loyalty will not be swayed by disgustingly feeble creatures in this cave, nor will the lack of food or clean water dismay me even a little. Hanuman tests me. I know it. I will be rewarded given time. Oh, dear. Well, your reward was to serve me... I guess an old red shirt. Um, I'm going to give him some stuff. I'm going to let him carry my gorilla for him. No, I'm not going to because that's a risk. I'm going to give him lots of other stuff to carry. And hopefully... Oh, that's not enough for my weight. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we don't need all this feral flesh. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Now we can move properly again. Wonderful. Okay, so we came here for Crystal. We killed the Imp King and all of his servants. And we, uh, yeah, we found this place. Is that a way through under the water? Oh, it, mm. oh, what's this? Oh, is this the, oh, that's the glowing goop that, oh. So in this cave here, you can get glowing goop in the underwater. Use your sickle, I guess, under, underwater. Awesome. Okay kind of knew that and I kind of had half forgotten it as well fantastic so glowing goop is going to be an ingredient uh, a reagent for sorcery stuff and an ingredient in uh, some other bits and bobs as we go along I don't even know all of them so that's why I'm saying bits and bobs 
All right, let's get out of this place. It's a bit uh, dank. There he is. Oh, Red Shirt. Wow, Red Shirt was close to taking a battle nap there. He really was. But we got through it. Marvelous. Oh, bonus. So, yeah, let's go home and have a look. Oh, hello. Go on, I'll take you all down. Oops. Nice. There you go. You died of the bleeding. Wonderful. All right. Let's put you on guard. Back over here, my friend. Thank you. Oh, he's still doing a few little odd things like that, like facing the wall. So you just pick him up and move him back into the position again. It sorts it out. Right. Uh, so first thing, actually, in our little hut, now that we've got some room, I'm going to see... Oh, maybe I don't have all the materials. Uh, crafting stations. Sorcery. We need to get 50 iron bars and 300 stones. Okay. All right. Do you know... I almost forgot. Let's have a look at this fella. Holy bonobos! I have never had the pet gorilla before. What on earth? He's got 311 health. Let's put him on defensive. Oh wow! That's uh, that's hilarious. That's awesome. Here, have some fiber, buddy. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's a thing. Um, uh, yeah, guess we're going to have to up our dental program. That's amazing. And <laughs> I've never seen that before. Awesome. Okay. You, you hang out there, buddy. You, you're a bouncer at the tavern, I guess. That's your job. You're a bouncer at the tavern. Um, okay. So we need some, uh, metal. There's like 50, I think. Boop. Uh, we can put some of our... we got our repair kit in here again. Put that away. Um, and then what else was that I needed? It was 300 Estonios. Let's go to the basics box then. That's 186. Okay. Uh, boop. All right. So, uh, crafting station, sorcery, thermatology table. And I'm going to put this in my house for now. We'll see if we move it. We could probably put it in the crafting area, but I've got the alchemy in here as well for now as well. So we put all the magical type things in here. I'm gonna put this uh, at an angle. So it'll look cool. Poop. Okay. Look at this. So now we'd have these known recipes, which is each you have to you get different recipes that progress over time. You need a sorcerer spell page, and you can put your book in here, like so, and you'll be able to then uh, learn new spells, which is sort of a RNG and a level thing. So as this gets more difficult to achieve the materials, you can expect a higher level spell. Uh, you can also remake an arcane star a staff, which needs five crystals and twenty iron bars. So should you be out and about adventuring and you lose your staff. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just put five in here for now, just in case. Um, then you can come back here and uh, create your uh, your staff again. Uh, and because we have our medicine man, Harry Potter Sorcerer, he's giving us a crafting speed buff to this table. Uh, and he's also allows us to do a research recipe, which is plant fibers, sacrificial blood in a flask. We'll get into that. Uh, and inking brush which we need to make on the dyer's table um, and that he will create he will do some research and if you're lucky he'll create a sorcerer's spell page and if we're unlucky he'll create a failed sorcerer's spell page which you can then use this uh, uh, recipe for which if you take 10 of those it will create you a completed sorcerer's research page um, with no RNG failure element to it so that's kind of cool Right, um, let's have a look at this big spear for a moment as well. Look at this, we got this staff, big reach weapon. Yeah, that's a strength weapon, so no good for me, but we could give it to Redshirt. It is a legendary weapon after all. 
Um, I quite have liked though that he's got this steel mace because the mace sunders the enemy's armor. Um, and that means I can do more damage with my blades. So I think I'm going to leave him with it. Look at the durability of that, 4,200. So it's a legendary weapon. Legendary weapons can't be repaired, um, as I understand it. So, but they come with enormous durability. Um, speaking of which, we need to repair our weaponry. Awesome. All right. We have some medium armor going spare. Well, I guess we don't want to put it on our locals here. We want to put it in uh, in our workers. We want to keep that to one side in case we uh, need to... Um, in, ca in case uh, Red Shirt 3 gets forcibly retired. Um, opening up that coin pouch with a right click. So I got 98 silver coins out of that. Awesome. We'll put that in our treasure trove. Uh, we also got the prayer to Hanuman. I'm going to right click on that. What does that do? A brief prayer. Uh, o Lord of the darkness, O men who are not men, give us strength and suffering in equal measure. Let our bodies be pleasing to you and our minds quieted from this conscious thought. Let us find the inner rages and loose them upon the earth. We give our sacrifice into your hands. Appease your thirst in the slickness of blood. Grant us the power of your might, the eternal strength of Hanuman. That's cool. Uh, now, to upgrade and learn a new spell, we need our book. Aha. We need the Sorcerer's Spell page. We need uh, putrid meat, one piece, and one piece of stone. So, one piece of stone. And one piece of putrid meat. There we go. There we go. So, here we go. So this is what it looks like when you upgrade your spell book, otherwise known as learning a new spell. Craft. You will see the table begin to glow and light up. And we have learned Blood Rite, Soul Drain, Embed Wisp, and Imbue Wisp. Wonderful. Okay, we must remember to pick our book up again. Found Davy Dolsey. And now, when we take out our arcane staff, and we... Let's go outside. We don't want to cast spells indoors. It might go horribly wrong. Okay, now when we left-click, we now have more categories to pick from. So we have part the veil of space and time to glimpse past, present, and future. We had that before. We had wield the forces of life, death, and undeath. And we have shaped the raw forces of nature and reality itself. Sure. Click on that one. And in here we have the spell Frozen Bridge. That's what we had before. Okay. I, was, I still haven't memorized all the categories. Forgive me. So let's start casting again. Right click to cancel. We'll go into the middle. And in here we've got two now. We've got the sorcerer imbues a soul onto their flesh, illuminating their path for zero cost. And the sorcerer imbues a soul onto a fixed point, illuminating the area. Right. I'll show you this spell. It has zero cost to it. So this shows that my sorcery tweaks thing isn't loaded in or isn't applying somehow because there should be another spell here from the tweaks mod. So that's interesting for me to learn from. All right, I'll show you this one, and then I'll dispel it because it's a little bit irritating. So you see that we got some corruption briefly, although it went away quickly. So you get this little green wisp um, that illuminates your past. The illumination's good, and the green color is okay for me, although depending if you have some color blindness, it might not be good for you. The slight problem with this that I wish the fun con would change is that this spell has this wisp darting all around you. Um, and it kind of... Yeah, it's kind of cute when you first see it and then it, it wears off pretty quickly because it's just kind of irritating and darting around your view. Um, but what you can do is if you have a spell that lingers like that, but it'll eventually wear off on its own. Some spells do, some spells don't. What we can do is you can go back in here and if you cast the same spell, you can see here it says remove ongoing effect. So we cast that. Boom. And it makes uh, that wisp go away. Or... Oh... Well, thanks for showing me up, game. Wow. Okay, it's supposed to make that go away. Oh, it did go away. Okay, so we just took a moment. 
So it made it go away quicker than it would have done otherwise. There we go. I don't know if that was a bit of lag or if that's bugged or something. I'm not sure. Okay. So that's how you do sorcerous upgrades to your book. Uh, in fact, if we look at the table now, just to finish this little bit off, uh, we can see that the next book upgrade is demanding uh, the book, of course, the sorcerer's spell page again. Uh, the feral, it wants one piece of feral flesh and it wants five feathers. So I don't know what that's going to unlock. Uh, I could have a sneaky guess based on feathers. Um, but uh, that's that's essentially just how that works. Uh, I'm going to take some of this other crystal and I'm going to melt it down into glass. Because we're going to get to a point where we're going to want some glass. So just put half in there for now. That's enough. Uh, and then I'll just put in the uh, sundries kind of box. There we go. We've got some feathers in here already. So that's good for our next upgrade path. All right. Let's put our glowing goop away. We have also, yeah, those weathered heads that we're keeping. Weathered skulls. They're going to come in handy. Yeah, and we're off and running. Uh, for now, the legendary weapon, I'm just going to put it in our weapon stash here. We might need to build a box. It's getting pretty full. Uh, and then what else have we got? We've got some uh, hides that we can turn into leathers. Like so. There's a little bit of bone to put in the box. Okay, there we go. Just building up these resources over time. It's always handy to have a little box to one side. We're just putting some stuff in. All right. Good. Next quest. So, next quest is... Uh, oh, let's have a look at our farm, briefly. So, our crude planter, we're now... We have 50 berries already, again, because of the speed of the settings uh, that I'm running the game on. And you can see we've got a little... Uh, there's a berry bush. Neat. Uh, so, we can grab uh, those desert berries. We'd have to put some more compost in here for this to grow again. Um, and I'm going to put them just straight on the dryer. There we go. Boom. In fact, might take half of those. Let's have a look now at our uh, journey path, actually. Let's see where we're going. So we completed Survivor. Uh, survival Shelter. Unlock Apprentice Mason. Okay, so this is, again, slightly odd where the game hasn't caught up to all these things because we've done all of those uh, components. Not quite sure what you can do to... Do we d switch journey? Ah, oh, I see. So it wants us to actually select the journey and switch to it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's kind of kind of odd, but all right. Brewer, switch journey. So this is why. Oh, that's that's peculiar. That is, I would have thought that the game would um that the game would just automatically start filling fulfilling these. Oh, look, so if we switch to... So you have to switch to that journey to make it in progress. And then, oh, the final reward is an Archeronian Legate helmet. That looks amazing. Wow, okay. Acolyte. Oh, here we go. Look, access or place an altar. Okay, so we could do the religious stuff. War painter, craft an inking brush. Okay. Cartographer, find the summoning place. Oh, this is finding places all over the map. So if you were going to go on a big exploratory adventure which would be probably i don't know late game or or maybe if you get to a different a certain area uh i suppose uh, i'll switch that on interesting okay i didn't uh know that was like that because we would have that's why this hasn't ticked any of these off interesting okay purge defender that just unlocked as we hit level 30 by the way chef okay unlock the bonfire knowledge so if we switch to that... Oh, it does check that one off that we already got it. Cook meat in a bonfire. So it kind of catches up as you're going. For some, oh, but for some things you actually have to perform the task with it activated. Like, look at that. Craft a stone hatchet. That's kind of silly, isn't it? It gives you a survival kit. All right, so look at the rewards that you want. Pick the switch to that journey. Is the lesson learned. And, uh, and off you go. Improved Tanner's table can be given to you by completing. Oh, interesting. Okay, 
So that's a pretty easy way to get an improved Tanner stable. That's neat. The reward for doing the alchemist journey is a glass flask. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, armor. What does blacksmith give you? Okay. Yeah. Supply materials for doing the mason. Homesteader gives you a box. Thrall taker gives you pure lotus orb, a glass orb filled with a thick purple substance. I don't even know what that does. All right. Farmer, that will give you some potent compost. Interesting. All right. Well, maybe we'll do a brewing one or something. So I thought I was following the journey paths, but it turns out I wasn't. So that could be interesting uh, for us to guide our content a little bit. Uh, we could select some of these. Improved dismantling bench. If we uh, do this, okay, switch journey. Put bone in the grinder. Put plant fiber in the grinder. Unlock fluid press knowledge. Well, we kind of have already done that. All right. Uh, I'm intrigued. I want to see what this does. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this does. Wait, in the grinder? There we go. Put bone into the grinder completed. Rat. I put plant fiber in there as well. Oh, it wanted the fiber. It wanted me to do it strictly in that order? Oh man, game, you crazy. You crazy. This is interesting for me. I, I hope this is interesting for you guys as well. I'm mean, just, you know, from a beginner's point of view. You really have to rigidly follow these steps. Wow. Hmm. All right. Well, then I think they could maybe... Uh, I suppose it would be a bit overwhelming if you were just randomly doing things and unlocking. But I think that's how it works in most games. So put human flesh into the fluid press. Put coal into the fluid press. What does coal in the fluid press do? This is actually kind of cool, though, that you might learn a few recipes. I don't know what coal in the fluid press does at all. Hmm. All right. Sorry, we're side questing right now. Hard. We've got this new sacrificial stone that we've learned as well. So we have to make one of those. Uh, but one moment. Uh, fluid press is on alchemy. So 10 iron bars, 10 twine, and 50 shaped woods. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pick that. There we go. shaped wood. Okay, 50, 10 twine, and 10 iron bars. All right, now we can make the fluid press. Uh, let's put that in the tavern or, well, then we're going to be running back and forth too much. Let's put it here in the workshop. Okay, Com bit of a compromise. Can always have a second one. All right, here we go. So put coal, they said, and human flesh. Uh, well, the human flesh we've got, I think we've cooked it all up. Or did I wait? No, I put some raw human flesh in the thrall pot earlier. <laughs> I remember doing that. Um, okay. And then a bit of coal. What does coal do in here? This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is perfect for the beginner's guy though because human flesh there we go that gives us blood so that's good to know that, not demon blood but just normal blood by putting that in there I think it's similar if you put other animals and things like pets and whatnot you've caught or carcasses maybe okay that's good to know let's click on J again uh, and we're on uh, what we're on? We're on Brewer, right? No. Wait, I confused myself. Oh, we're on Dismantler. Okay. Put coal in the fluid press. Okay. Uh, boop. Okay. Let's wait for it to finish processing the blood. It doesn't... It's not added anything new to the queue. 
So why did it want us to even do that? Huh? Do we need to put a higher volume of coal in there? Let's see. Let's take a hundred. Is this a thing? Oh! Oh, that makes tar. Okay, well, we don't want to waste our... We make that from the leather process. I did not know that was an alternate recipe for tar. Awesome. Okay. You see there in the furnace is why I did it pretty quickly, but with it, I noticed there was a... Uh, uh, we made some glass. Okay, unlock. Uh, so, and now it wants us to just dismantle an item. Uh, what have I got that I could dismantle? Uh, fiber bindings, I guess. They're not worth much. So, here we go. Fiber bindings. Oop. Dismantler complete. So, go back to Jay. And the reward is an improved dismantling bench. Claim the reward. That should be in our pockets then. Or, oh no, we can probably just uh, place it down now. So, number seven with our construction hammer. Uh, general. There we go, improved dismantling bench. Oh, it doesn't give you the improved dismantling bench? Wait, what? It's just given us the knowledge, I guess. Oh man, that's stingy. It... <laughs> <laughs> improves improve a workbench equipped for dismantling armors and weapons it says it gives you it hang on am i not seeing something in my pocket i don't see it anywhere no it's just given us the knowledge oh <gasps> that seems a bit mean the way that's worded okay 150 bricks and 100 insulated wood well luckily Luckily, here's some we made earlier. And a hundred insulated wood, okay. Alright, why not? Improved dismantling bench. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of that. And then... Make sure we're on the improved one. Yeah, improved dismantling bench. And boop. There we go. We got a better one of these. I assume it just processes things quicker. Yeah, that javelin, for whatever reason, can never be broken down. Um, okay. Let's uh, dismantle something and see if it's uh, see if we notice the improvement. Uh, we've got two of these, so I'll take this one that's low durability. There we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. And we put that in there. And boom. Oh, wow, that's super quick. Okay. Nice. Leather and metal back. All right. Well, there you go. That's how you can unlock the improved dismantling bench. Wonderful. Right, next steps. Also, these are the Skelos Cultist armor pieces that we unlocked. But as you can see, perfected medium padding, layered silk, and raw ash. These are all ingredients that we are nowhere near getting. Now, the game does imply that we could make ourselves a piece of heavy armor. Another piece of heavy armor. So we got the leg pieces. Um, we could make ourselves a medium chest piece. We've got this Barakan Reaver buff coat. Uh, oh, we've got the heavy pauldron. So this has got non-selected, so this seems to be base game knowledge. I'm going to make it. If, of course, you don't find that in your selection, just pick the heavy pauldron. It should, it's 140, so it should offer no difference. So we're going to make that. I'm going to get myself even more armored up for our next adventure. Right, so it's making the heavy padding. Barakan Reaver. Am I spelling Am I saying that right? I don't know. Riva, Reaver. Buff coat. 
So right click it. There we go. There's our medium harness. And now our armor score is 603. Look at us looking all snazzy. <gasps> look how snazzy. Oh, we look like a proper... I don't know what we look like, actually. Proper buffoon? I don't know. Proper warrior. Yeah, let's go with warrior. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... Whilst that other weapon that we got is way, way better, this legendary weapon, it doesn't suit the playstyle I'm going with. So I'm going to put my uh, little needles in there. Numidian uh, poniards. I'm going to repair those. The other tools that we've got all seem to be in good nick. There we go. Wonderful. All right. Yeah, and then next up, we can start getting some more heavy armor put together to get red shirt three i mean you know if push comes to shove as much as i kind of feel like i could give uh, the heavy armor to him i think the best thing is that i've got it that i can run away to fight another day uh, yeah we'll see all right as you can see most of them are just going about their business this tannery tina this guy here is an example of what it looks like when they get a bit stuck so he's trying to get to that chair by the looks of it. Doesn't look like that is happening because of the table. So I'm going to see if I can just shovel that a little bit to the left there. So you'll get little things like that where they just, you know, they can, we can get through this gap for some reason they couldn't. Or maybe I couldn't get through that gap and I hadn't checked where the table was. All right. Let's see. Maybe that works now. Pretty cool though. That's Harry Potter, our sorcerer. Um, okay. Next steps. Oh, I show. I tell you, we can show you something because this would be a useful bit of knowledge somewhere down the line. Let's grab some fish. We'll just take this unappetizing fish. That's actually run out of insects now as well. Um, the fish I think keep good as long as you leave them in the trap. But let's put the fish in here and see what squished fish gives us. It gives us oil, and that oil can be used in tinkering and armor processes and things. So. That's just a little uh, handy recipe hint that I can pass on, one that I remembered. All right, wonderful. Oh, I know what we could do next. Let's build our first religious item. But first, let's go to our journey book and look for... Uh, where are we? Uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Sorcerer Acolyte. Here we go. Switch to that journey and let's uh, place an altar. Because that seems like it would be a cool thing. So under crafting stations religion, we've got a recipe pit of yog. This needs 360. So can I pin these recipes somehow? I don't think you can, right? Space bar to select. So you used to be able to pin them over on the right there, but I don't think you can do that anymore. I could be wrong. If you know, let me know. I'm not seeing any button for it. Okay, so 160 wood, 360 stone. So it's stone, wood, twine, and bones. And then I think what we're going to do, as nice as this is, I think we're going to just put it down in the middle here as a centerpiece. Yeah, let's do that. Carefully right-click with the hammer to... Uh, do that. I'm going to pick that brazier up again and we're going to place this thing down. So let's go. Twine, stone. I'm just going to grab it all. And wood. Oh, uh, and bone. I got the bone. Okay. We'll do the slow walk of shame. All right. Not enough overlapping with terrain, not enough contact with the ground. What? Are you kidding me? I try the R trick. Oh, there was a. Oh, there we go. It'll just go there. That's uh. Well, I mean, if that's the bit it wants to go on, that's the bit it wants to go on. Boom. There we go. Placed an altar. Look at this as a cool centerpiece. Isn't that cool? I kind of wanted that though. Hang on, maybe I can move it now that I'm with Pippi. Yeah, there you go. We can move it afterwards. I kind of want that to be like... 
facing our doorway. I thought, oh, maybe that's not a good thing. Okay. So there we go. We moved it afterwards with the pippy move. Move it slightly again. I'm going to let this guy walk past first because I don't know what's going to happen if he gets uh, if he gets stuck in it. Okay, there we go. So now we can walk around this thing. Actually, you can walk in between those as well, so that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty central. And it has the added benefit of being a big light source. So that's cool. All right, let's see. Jay, what does it want us to do now? Craft a religious tool. Oh, because we found one earlier, we already have that done. Okay, harvest a religious resource and then craft a religious item. So, um, we found these yog cleavers before, but it would just be five branches and 30 stones. And then crafting an item, for example, purified flesh. So, I think we're going to go and have a chat with that little group that lives over there on the corner. And uh, borrow some of their flesh in a very specific way. That doesn't sound right at all, does it? It sounds awful. Okay, uh, let's put those away. Put these bricks back in here. All right. Let's see. Hello. Uh, I need some flesh, please. Yeah. No, you missed. Oh, your name. What the heck? Okay, maybe we try and grab you. Okay, you're dead. Um, and uh, if you would give me a moment. Excuse me. It's very rude. Oh. Excuse me. I don't know what you do. You're a scout, right? I have no clue what that means. So again, we're learning here. Ow. Ow. Big ow. Ooh, healing potion. I've got to remember not to go too close to my uh, clan folk because they will rip her to shreds really quickly. You picked the wrong fight. You picked a wrong fight. I like her accent. Come on, Ennis. Come on now. You don't have to be all uppity. Or how about you come and... We've got a lovely medical scheme. We've got we've got religious, uh, 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 you know, tolerance. <laughs> That's the best word for it. Ow! Ooh, ow, 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 ow! Okay, no, no. Gods take you! Oh, she keeps catching me with that. Oh, okay, got her. Okay, we'll come back and do the religious thing in a moment. I just want to take this opportunity to bring in a new named employee. That's, I don't know if she's any good and what she does even. But let's take Ennis the scout, right? <laughs> <laughs> to our, uh, yeah. Into our intern program. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Ennis Ironwrought. I, I don't know what she does. They will find out. That's going to be exciting. All right. Meanwhile, however, we're done with that bit. And now we need our yog cleaver. Number seven. And then a little bit of choppy chop. Right. You see there? Unblemished human meat. One piece. I think you can only get one from them. One each. Okay. Oh, I'll use that rough wrap. I'll take your dried berries as well. Very nice. Thank you. Healing up on, on, on their costs. Perfect. Was this part of the medical uh, allowances or whatever that I <laughs> I offered to them? There we go. Got ourselves healed up for free. I'm just going to... Oops, miss. I'm just going to do that again. Yeah, it's not giving us anything. Okay. So, we could hit it for a bit of bone. Could be handy. A bit of hide. Alright. So, uh, let's throw those on there. Savory flesh. We could probably dry that. Oh, actually, let's keep that for a minute. 
we're gonna maybe we'll get to that cooking thing too as well um okay we bring that back let's do this properly shall we go to the pit of yog we bring back that flesh we put it on there we click on the purified flesh we make two of those and again each so each religion will have its own spin on this kind of thing i'm not going to go into depth at all in any of the religion stuff i'll leave that for you to discover at your own pace and depending on how much you enjoy the lore um but there you go new new journey unlocked high priests so we create these things called manifestations of zeal um oh wow okay and we can exchange those for knowledge of uh, or something i don't know what can we flesh of remembrance okay so what does this do then purified flesh okay flesh that has been ritually purified it is hallowed it gives plus 40 health it gives plus 14 stamina that's fantastic and it seems to have no expiration oh wow so i've never done the yog path before um hashtag not a heathen or a cannibal but look this is now purified meat in our pocket that never goes off that's kind of cool that's kind of cool yeah so these other things here we can burn an offering so we can collect religious items from other religions and uh, offer them up here as well for more manifestations of zeal and i think we need that if we want to upgrade our um our shrine here our pit of yog oh wow so i didn't realize it gives you this kind of never-ending meat with this plus 40 and plus 14 that's very cool all right i mean you know if you just ignore the whole i'm a cannibal uh, kind of bit oh look there's this coin pine that pile that we can create as well because we have the treasury unlocked with 300 gold coin 300 silver so it's very expensive but you can dive into the treasure it's it's pretty cool animation so this uh the uh dive that we do there you can dive into uh you can dive into your coin pile it's fantastic all right let's see if we got some more compost now for our look at that all 23 are made now so it just needs some more bone meal um so let's put some more compost in here uh let's put five in there and if you keep topping that up it'll just keep growing the stuff forever and ever five in there and then five in there okay and that's going to grow us then so those different berries those different plants and we can have a look at what they look like i'm going to put these back there we go because we can, might find some more plant seeds and things as we go through the map uh and things that we're more interested in growing or want to prioritize for example hops uh for brewing okay let's have a look at our journey thing then acolyte is complete so we can get supply materials claim that reward it puts one of those in our pocket that's what i thought it was going to do with the table um okay we right click that and that's given us oh <gasps> what it gave us gl glowing goop again oh that's amazing fantastic uh oh we have our little brazier to uh place as well wow i really didn't know that with the uh with the food that's uh that's cool that is um, all right, let's put this brazier in here for a bit more light at this end of the tavern at night time. Lovely. All right, and it's unlocked the journey um, high priest. So upgrade an altar, assign an arch priest to the altar, and summon an avatar. Oh, so these are like more endgame things. The upgrade, not so much. But the Archpriest, that, I imagine they'd be pretty hard to find and knock them out and kill all the people around them. And summon an avatar. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I've never... Uh, I don't think I've ever done that either. I think somebody might have enabled it for me once on a server. But I... Uh, yeah. We'll save that. By invoking an avatar, you channel energies into yourself, which allow you to become a conduit for the god's manifestation. These manifestations can be controlled by you, and while they only last briefly, can wreak havoc upon enemy bases or encampments. 
So, for example, if you were PvPing, you could use that to, like, have this, you know, really, really powerful avatar for a short time and just go and do all sorts of damage to their base and attack them, that kind of thing. Could be kind of fun. We'll see. Maybe we'll look at that at some point. Um, all right. So which one of these do we want to pick? So we do need those brushes. Craft an inking brush. So I might select this war painter. Um, but we'll come back to that. Chef. Cook. Unlock stove knowledge. Actually, the chef one could be really handy. Let's switch to the chef journey. So cook meat in a bonfire. All right. Um, all right. But next things we're going to look at are now that we've had our first dabble in uh, in religion um, the next thing actually did we we didn't level up yet no we're close we are close very close 24,000 okay that wouldn't take long to get 24,000 either um, so, but the next things we've got that are already unlocked for us are, um, improved carpentry bench, carpenter's bench, 100 bricks, 25, uh, iron reinforcements and 50 shaped wood. Um, and also, uh, where is it? It's under smithing, we now have access to the, uh, improved blacksmith bench, 100 bricks and 100 iron reinforcements. And the improved furnace, which is 50 bricks and 100 ingots. Uh, we also have the improved tannery. Oh, we're hungry. Uh, let's eat one of the things we got, because why not? And we can see the buffs. We've got the favor of Yog. Fantastic. So our health has gone up to 360 max for that time period. Period of time. I don't know how long that lasts. Um, yeah, and we've got more stamina as well, so that's maze balls. Love it. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have to kill a lot more people and savor of their flesh. <laughs> uh, we also have the sacrificial stone, so that's another hundred uh, iron. So we might have to go and get some more iron ingots. Okay, let's just grab those bricks and those ingots. And, in fact... The first thing we'll make is we will make an improved furnace. Uh, I'm just going to put this here for a moment, like so. There we go. Now, we could use this one for doing the bricks going forward, and this one for the metal and everything, but this will just process a lot quicker. So it could be that we've reached the point where we... Let's grab this fellow and put him on the other one. No, I don't... Buddy, I literally just moved you. Okay, I will put you there. Maybe it's because this is still burning something. I don't know. He's, he's your dude, sir. You are being... You're being childish. You Stop it. You've got a new one. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll put that in there. And uh, yeah, we can have a very brief look and see how much better at processing that one is now. I'll get rid of that other one in a minute. Uh, let's grab some bricks. We'll grab a thousand bricks. Just as an example. And the it doesn't matter that he's sitting there, brick top. Uh, he still applies his bonus here, his increase in crafting speed, 1.5 to this one as well. So we press play on there. And look at that. That's pretty quick. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that's this smelter plus uh, the crafter as well, giving us a decent buff. So yeah, you can see it's still going to take time, but we'll get there. Okay, and then the other things we've got in smithing is improved blacksmith's bench. We need 100, my goodness, 100 iron reinforcements. That is a lot of iron. All right, let's put those in there. We can make 108. Let's just make them all. We're going to have to do another metal run. <laughs> I did one before starting the video, so we'd have some materials, but obviously uh, we need even more. Unfortunately, with this two to one recipe. All right, we'll leave that cooking for a moment. 
I'm gonna put some stuff away here in the box, I guess. We can put these bricks away in this glass for now. Um, let's have a look if our new... Oh, yep. New one's ready. Over cucumbered again. Yes. Behold. The glory of Yogg. Now, what on earth does a scout right do? I do not know. I do not know the answer to this. We know that she needs some more clothing. She, is she an armorer or a blacksmith? Where are you going to go? You're going to the armorer's table. Scout right. Four. Reduced weight. So she's a tier four. Name troll. Reduced weight. Plus plus. Here we go. Encumbrance weight 19% down on... Oh my goodness. We should remake our armor. That would be amazing. Max durability plus 12.5. Agility damage plus two, strength damage plus two, stamina plus two, health plus eight, carrying capacity plus six, follower damage plus two percent, concussive damage plus two percent, armor value itself plus 31 percent. Oh my lord. So what we're going to do. Oh, and look at all the recipes she knows. <gasps> she knows all of these recipes. She can make Stygian vests. So, oh my lord. Ulon would be so happy. She can make Darketo stuff, Dafari stuff. Oh my lord, Zamorian stuff. Heavy plated helm. That looks amazing. That needs hardened steel bars. Oh my goodness, we can't even... She can make that apron thing that they use. And the leather worker's gloves, that's cool. Oh wow. So that's, uh... So that's light armor. All of that stuff. Heavy helmet, heavy padding, hardened steel. So we're not able to make hardened steel yet. Uh, I think I know what we need for that, but we haven't got anywhere near that stuff yet. Okay. Oh, wow. That's really cool. But we, unfortunately, we're not going to gain much benefit from these things. But it is neat, though. We can, we can dress our people up more distinctly, more, uh, well, if they're sticky in, then they're going to be wearing... <laughs> Snakes and stuff. Isn't this going to be a bit weird with Yogg? Um, okay. So, right. Let's, uh, so we've got our heavy. We're not going to remake our heavy pieces, but we've got our hat, our gloves, and our boots are all medium pieces, so we can make new ones. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these ones down on our improved dismantling bench. I'm not sure if the improved dismantling bench is quicker and gives additional resource. If you know in the chat, let me know. Um, but anyway, we're going to break these down and our own stuff because uh, we're going to remake them with all those buffs. Oh, now I'm over cucumbered because that was buffing my encumbrance already. Uh, fantastic. It's a shame it doesn't give you back the padding. That, that's a genuine. But anyway, gives you back the leather at least. And we got more of that goop. Look at me without all of my armor. <laughs> uh, okay, this is exciting. I like this. Um, <laughs> where are we got leather? Okay, so uh, medium padding. So hang on, we can just make our medium gear again. So we need medium hats. Craft. Let's have a look at the numbers. So this gives armor value 45 now. But what we were at before, 603, I think it was, right? Carry capacity 21, durability 326, and the weight 638. Fantastic. Um, okay, so we need a medium hat, medium gloves, and medium shoes. We're out of iron bars already. Okay. Oh, I can't take from there. Oh, no! Robbing Peter to pay Paul. Brick top, are you gonna? Okay, I feel like I've gotta take this away so that he's gonna work on his <laughs> his new place. Use your new one. Something so stubborn. <laughs> you big baby. All right. 
You know, I wonder if with the improved armor's bench. Have I got an improved armor's bench? I got an improved tannery. No. Okay, so the armor's bench wasn't one that we got. We do have the fireball cauldron now to replace the fire the, the improved fireball cauldron. We've got the dyer's bench we need to make for the brushes. Okay, we need to put down a bonfire as well. Okay, uh, so medium gauntlets. So that's our new, new ones. We already have 603 and we don't have any armor on our feet right now. So that shows you how much of a buff that's given us. To both the armor values and the carrying capacity. That's phenomenal. That's wonderful. Okay, uh, so... Uh, where else can I steal metal from? I think I took all of this, right? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, we could also make better gear for our, uh... Wait, medium padding I can make? Yeah, that's not the problem, is it? The problem is the lack of metal. Okay. There must be something I can throw away, I can break down. Oh, we just go and get some metal, it's fine. Oh, let's get rid of this iron war hammer, we're not gonna use that. Uh, and this iron pike, we're not gonna use that either. Okay. Look. Boop. And boop. 70, wow. Oh my goodness, that was really worth breaking down. There we go. Okay. Boom. And the branches can go in here. Right. So. Uh, medium boots. There we go. Make one set for me. Bang. So our new armor rating is 626. We're heavy because we've got this, these heavy pieces on. Oh my goodness, 626, that's fantastic. Could she actually repair these bottom pieces? No, we don't have the knowledge of that. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, they have a ghastly aura. I <laughs> just noticed that. Fantastic. All right, so we could make also a new medium harness for uh, red shirt. Well, why not? Let's give him every advantage, right? Every advantage we can afford him. Let's see why we wouldn't do that. Our trusted bodyguard. We don't want him to go into forced retirement. Oh, this is really cool. So that was a f really fun little coincidence that we just happened to... We ended up having to do another side quest. Alright, so your base item is 59 armor, 15 carry capacity. And your new armor is 78 and 21. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. So his armor now is up to 254. Okay. Again, I'm curious, maybe, I'm kind of thinking I should give him the heavy stuff, but... Hmm. Eh, it's okay. Uh, he can take it. <laughs> uh, let's break his old chest piece down, because that was going to help us. A little bit more gear again. Alright. And you can see with the improved dismantling bench that uh, we are getting lots of stuffs very quickly enabling us to uh, you know feed back in recycle very cool um, actually we have some raw meats why don't we do uh, why don't we do the bonfire since it wanted us to do that right J chef cook me in a bonfire Unlock the grinder, that, that will take off immediately. Then it wants stone in the grinder. Then the fish trap. Okay, let's keep let's just go along that one and unlock the chef then. Um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's just take like fifty stones. Oh wait, how many do I need to build the bonfire? Uh 
200 wood and 25 twine. 200 wood and 25 twine. Building not allowed here. Oh, because we're too near to their uh, thing. Well, let's put the bonfire over here then. Not going to use it very often. All right. Put some food in there. Uh, I guess we could put plant fiber in there to burn it. Boom. Right, did that? Oh, wait. There we go. Grab that meat. There we go. Cooked meat. So you have to take it off the bonfire. And our cook actually applies a crafting speed to that as well. Nice. Awesome. Right, Jay. So, uh, next, put stone in a grinder. Unlock fisher knowledge. Okay, put stone in a grinder. <laughs> like so. That makes salt. There we go. We saw that already. We grab that. What does it want next? Uh, access or place a fishing trap. Catch a fish using bait. Unlock dried preserved. Craft meat in the dryer. And then unlock the stove. Okay. This is actually helping our XP uh, just tick along a little bit. So we got our fish traps. Done that one. Uh, let's grab a uh, savory fish, for example. Catch a fish. That's done. Nice. Then it wanted us to dry something. Alright, pick up that dried fish. Did that count, Jay? Uh, now, yes, it did. Okay. So, unlock stove knowledge, craft fish strips in the stove, and eat a filling meal. Okay. So, next steps then, we need uh, to unlock the stove knowledge here. And in order to do that, we need six points. So, let's go... Uh, well, let's have a little fight here. Unless, uh, surely we're not going to get another name troll here. That would be crazy. That guess no. That's obviously these are too low level. Any fun stuff in there? Leather working gloves. We got we got a set of those already. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go fight a couple of things over here. Because I wouldn't mind. I think that'd be pretty cool to get some cooking stuff done and show some of the journeys being completed. I'm learning, so. Let's go. And then the next step in any case is... Uh, oh, this is demon eyes. <gasps> Ooh. So this one is just... It's not always a demon eyes. Well, you can get out of the fight. Yeah. Ouch. Down you go. Bleeding out. Okay. Wow. Now that's got us nearly to the level. Fantastic. Got us some more savory. There we go. Wonderful. All right, let's grab some eggs while we're here. Because that's going to be handy for the cooking. Uh, actually, we could grab some uh, desert berries while we're here too. Although we're growing those now. We don't need that. Don't need this filthy wild stock. <laughs> We've got a lovely, clean, nurtured, our cultured berries. <laughs> Lovely cultivated berries back here. Mm -hmm -hmm. I like our little tavern here. It needs it needs some more decor and that on the side, some banners and things. But we, haven't, we haven't got that unlocked yet. Uh, okay, so let's see. Will this give us enough attributes? Uh, I think I'm going to go towards more agility so that we become more deadly with our weapons or commanding for healthy diet your active followers gain passive health regeneration when not in combat that could be handy commanding presence your active followers are inspired by a battle process and have their health restored when you deal damage in combat oh that sounds quite cool as well 
Yeah, you know what? I think let's buff red shirt. Okay, we gained seven points. Seven points. So we've got to make a hard choice between the oh, steel skinning knife and cleaver or cooking, but we're going to unlock the cooking. There we go. Journey step done. Okay, next craft fish strips in the stove and eat a filling meal. Wonderful. This is this is cool. Now, where have we got enough space? So I did already shrink that fire down a little bit. Let's see. The stove needs um, 150 rocks and 70, uh, 50 of those iron reinforcements. Now we were making 100 iron reinforcements before for something else I was going to build <laughs> that I have subsequently forgotten what it was. Uh, improved alchemist bench, fire cauldron. No, it was none of that. It was none of that. Was it the, ah, oh, it was the improved carpenter's bench. Okay. Well, that's going to have to wait. I want, I want cooking first. So 150 stones. Uh, what? Well, that just took all of them. Okay. <laughs> sure. Whatever. It doesn't make any difference. Um, okay, let's get a uh, brick top. Excuse me, sir. The brick top is just a bit, a bit of a cantankerous so and so. Okay, let's move this box. Uh, we'll put this box here. Oh, that's the, that is the other side of it. Okay, we'll just put that box there for a moment. Hopefully that's not going to block block the thrall from getting onto it. Uh, and then we spin this around because there's a little arrow facing that way. And we're going to get our cooking stove in, in the game. There we go. Nice. So we've got a little cooking stove. And in here, these are all your standard known recipes right now. And these are additional recipes based on our thralls. We only have a level one shamanic cook. But they know how to make uh, honey bread, which needs basic bread, which is actually quite difficult to make, I think. We have to find the recipes and stuff. Um, and then honey, uh, which we don't have in play yet. Um, they know how to make honeyed eggs, so eggs plus honey. Uh, and mystery meat soup, which is three human flesh in some bone broth. But we haven't unlocked the recipe for bone broth yet. So, uh, yeah, make of that what, all of that what you will. But the game asked us to make fish strips. So, uh, let's go get some uh, fishy wish. Uh, we also need to put some fuel in there. So, we'll grab that, half of that. We've got spices, we've got salt. We do have bees, so we could start looking into, uh, potentially... So put that there. All right, let's get some fish strips or some fish. There we go. It's really all starting to come together, isn't it? Lovely. Now uh, we've got exotic fish. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. We've got the shellfish. Actually, that's all going to probably go off. So I probably should have left that in the trap, but it's okay. Here we go. So, uh, uh -huh. eggs. Human flesh, shellfish. Uh, okay, cool. So if I just press play on this, it will cook the eggs. Oh no, it won't. You have to press craft as well. Oh wait, I didn't put the bark in here yet. So that turns it on. And then you see, unlike some of the other stations, nothing automatically crafting. So it's waiting for you to um, pick what you want to do. So we could make a savory feast, for example, by putting savory flesh in. Um, I think we cooked it or whatever. I'm not sure where we put it. Um, eggs and then dried berries. So, you know, we made those dry berries. Bang. And I said earlier that that could be part of other recipes. You've got exotic feast, uh, which is exotic flesh plus eggs plus the berries. You've got uh, fish strips. Oh, fish strip wants us to... It needs a mixture of all three types of fish. Meat strips is a lot easier. That's just feral flesh plus salt. Purified water. That's used in other recipes as well. Um, 
yeah and then uh spiced steak and spiced haunch so that adds the spice that we made by crushing the uh plant fiber in the grinder is added together with some of these different bits of meat and then that in turn is turned into these spicy meals and the spicy meals will keep you nice and warm and and help you survive if you go to colder regions which we'll get to that later in the in the game okay so we need some more bugs because we need to catch some more fish do i have more bugs in here i do not i think you can use bees but we're going to keep those in reserve um so that means we need to oh there's the flesh there it's on our uh on our hot bar i'm always blind as a bat when it comes to that number six so we need some uh some bugs oh that was unlucky Sometimes, yeah, look, you get 50 fat grubs in here. I'm not sure if you can use fat grubs to catch fish. So let's take half of those with us and see whether that is a thing. Oh, I think there's there a sandstorm coming. Maybe. If everything feels a bit spooky and sandy. I think the sandstorm might be coming. Okay, we're over cucumber. That's... Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, lordy. We're over cucumbered. Oh no. Here comes. Ah, it's a race against the storm. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, fat grubs. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yikes. We're going to take some injury, even with our better armor. Can we make it? We've got to put this into the fish trap before we go indoors. Ugh. Gonna start hurting. Uh, let's see. I wanted to try out fat grubs. Oh, it does. So we can use the compost heap to give us fat grubs to get uh, fish and shellfish. That's fantastic. Good to know. There you go. Another thing learned. All right. Look at my health going down there rapidly. Oof. That is rough. That is rough. Oh. There we go. I only got 60% coverage in some of the house. That's, that's not good. Um, all right, let's put some... Oh, I'm standing by the window. That's not good. There we go. 100% coverage. Can I... Is there a spot here with 100% I can reach the stove? Yeah. <laughs> Shoddy building work. Shoddy building work. Um, yeah. So you can see here we've got this lasting feast that we found. Um... We can't make that. But here's the spice steak, for example. Now we can make that in here. Um, so if I put my savory flesh in there, that one's now green. So we could make nine spiced savory flesh. We can also make three savory feasts. I think we should make one and eat one and see uh, see what that gives us. It gives us concussive damage plus 15%. So if you wanted to go out clubbing aka picking up some more thralls and that knocking them out then eat a savory feast 15 percent concussive damage that means your beat stick will be more effective during that time that's good to know all right have i got other foodstuffs in here no not for cooking okay it's all cooked already mm, don't think berries no they're nothing in there directly we could put some berries in the fluid press and see what happens. Um, all right, we can cook an egg. Let's do that. So I'll craft one of that. Uh, that's just basic food. Um, but it wants us to eat uh, something more, a heartier meal for which we need the uh, fishy fishes. Okay, nothing caught yet. What did I want to show in here? Berries, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we crush berries, we get desert berry pulp, which is a drink. Simple consumable. Boom. Non-alcoholic. But uh, the food poisoning came from the shellfish, obviously. <laughs> um, but that's kind of cool. So that's an alternative to uh, just taking water on board. So it looks like that gives us 20 minutes of hydration. I'm not sure what the water does. I haven't uh, yeah. I haven't paid sufficient yeah. attention Oops. to that. 
and we can just oh we got it we got it we got it yeah baby we got it fish strips here we go all right mcdonald's eat your heart out fish strips craft play we did it and now inventory eat the fish strips there we go that counted so let's see let's get our reward we got ex exquisite meat a choice cut claim reward we got 50 pieces of exquisite meat <gasps> but what can we even use that for nothing that we know of so there's all these other recipes that use this uh shade spice uh, i'm not sure we found any of that yet so it didn't give us exotic meat, it gave us exquisite meat. Huh. That's not all that useful right now. But yeah, okay. So now we're on to smithing, upgraded, improved blacksmith bench. So 100 bricks and 100 iron uh, reinforcements. We have got 69 of those nice uh six more there yeah okay so we're gonna have to do an iron run i will do an iron run and then i will come back and we will upgrade our uh we'll upgrade our blacksmith bench okay uh just did a little uh, metal run and on the way back, uh, I thought uh, I would test one or two things. Uh, and I put some uh, purified flesh uh, into old Red Shirt 3 here. Force fed him it. <laughs> uh, and he does indeed get the favor of Yog. So his health has increased by 40 points and his stamina by 14. Um, during, you know, the period for as long as that lasts. Obviously that does wear off at some point. But that's pretty uh, good to know. So we beat up a few locals as it as chance were anyway. While we were out and about. And on the way back they came and attacked me on my way home. So uh, we made a bunch more purified flesh here. Um, which again is quite heavy. But it has this benefit of never going off. So you can trade that off by not carrying any of the other feasts and things. Um, but yeah. If you uh, are able to make that. you can. If you get a big stack of that. You can feed that to your... Uh, your follower there and give them that additional health buff. I don't know if the stamina buff really helps them as such, but maybe. I don't know how the mechanics work with stamina and the NPC thralls. Um, but certainly a health buff, 527 now, for as long as that lasts. And again, if you put a stack of those in there, I think that's pretty cool. You know, he could always carry that and, it, and the fact that it never goes off either. Um, I don't know. It could be quite an expensive way of doing it, you know, quite time-consuming. Um, but I just was, uh, I was just intrigued by that, so I thought I'd share that with you. Um, uh, otherwise, we've got the metal. Um, that's cooking away over here in our, uh, furnace. It's already cooked up 63. Um, so let's get the, uh, metal pieces being made. 32 more. That should be just enough, actually, yeah. Um, was it? I think it was a hundred that we needed. Oh, I've got to put that away again. I was using that hotkey seven. Uh, it was yeah, one hundred iron reinforcements and one hundred bricks. Okay, nice. So let's get that uh, done. We could go and have a fight with the big old, big old mean crocodile. I'm just going to use this as a dump chest for a minute. Uh, let's go have a big fight with the big old bully crocodile across the way. Because uh, he's a nasty boss, and I don't know, I don't know how well that's gonna go. So, le yeah, let's just drop magics. I don't think there's any magic that's gonna help us fighting a crocodile. Uh, I don't need to carry that anyway. Um, but yeah, let's have one of those. We'll have a uh, purified flesh before we go in. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? This could be uh, this could be good fun. Let's get red shirt. We could take the gorilla. Should we take the gorilla to fight the crocodile? It'd be like Godzilla versus King Kong. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. 
Godzilla vs. Kong. Okay, you follow me, buddy. This is, yeah, this, he eats seeds as well, okay. And berries. Have I got some more? I've got a look, let's take a stack of berries. Let's give you a stack of berries. There you go. Okay, come on, bud. Let's, let's, it's King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, this is, this, he's, he is, I've never had this guy before. He is not going to last. Let's, let's get him a couple of levels. Maybe he'll get some health buff before we go in. There's lots of baby crocs to kill around the way as well. Okay, we'll start with an easy fight. Let's see, let's let him take a hit from this guy and see how that, see how that looks. There we go, get him. He leveled up. 311 health now. Nice. Oh dear. He is not going to survive the crocodile. Oh, this, this is a bad... This is a bad idea. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, let's have a look. What are you leveling up? Strength, vitality, 70% plus 7. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. Maybe the maybe with two of us there it'll work. But this croc is mean. Let's kill some of the baby crocs as we go around the pool. There's the big croc over there. This is Godzilla versus Kong. I'm gonna lose my gorilla already, but that's okay. It's it's you know it's just pixels. There you go. He's doing 21 damage. Yeah. He, now, he is breaking their armor. That's good to know. So he actually does sunder their armor. That's going to be really helpful in the fight against the big croc. Me only having blades. Doesn't look like he does it with every hit, though. Hmm. All right, well... Are you up for this, King Kong? <sighs> King Kong's... King Kong's... We... Brother. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Look at it. Hopefully there's no more babies around here. Come on. Oh, I've got favor of Yogg. So, I've got my stamina buff. Come on then. Let's go. You are... Th oh my god, one hit. Oh, he is sundered though. Oh no, King Kong's gonna die. We should leave already. Look how little damage I'm doing to this. Oh no, flee. Flee. Move King Kong's brother. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, there's no way. I don't want to lose him unnecessarily. We're disengaging. We're disengaging. <clears throat> okay, come on. Come on, buddy. We're disengaging. Oof, that is a fight we are not prepared for. <clears throat> I didn't take a hit with my heavy medium armor mix. I'm glad about that. But you... Oh, look at you. You're nearly dead. You're nearly dead. <laughs> okay. This oh no, he's still coming. Are you kidding? Oh my lord, that was close. Imagine oh if he follows us over to our house. Oh, we can't go across the water. We could go and get all of our gang and go and kill him as a gang. Oh yeah, no, he's given up now. Okay, buddy, come come with me. I'm gonna you you're a good bouncer for the tavern. But you're not up to that fight. I don't think I feel like without heavy armor I don't know if red shirt's up to that fight either. We could try it. Oh, I think that's a massive risk though. I think we need to get heavy armor for that fight. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure of that. No, I'm just going to pick this up. There we go. 
Then I'm going to get you to move over there. I'm going to do seven, and then we're going to put our new improved blacksmith in here. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Look at that. That looks cool. Then it gets our buff from our bladesmith four. Connell the hammer. Fantastic. No new recipes, but we do have steel uh, tools available. A steel pick hatchet. We don't have the pickaxe unlocked yet. The one we've been using here, the one we found two of. So we were very lucky. Now, um, if we were doing this ordinarily without the luck of these steel drops so i realized i was just kind of skipping a bit there let's take these uh half these bars here now the way we're going to make steel is we've got to combine iron bars with something called steel bloom um, which we make in an alchemy station uh, such as this little cauldron here we do have an improvement we could make but for the sake of time um, steel fire is tar, which we're getting as a byproduct of the leather making process from the hides on the tannery. Uh, and brimstone. And you remember in the last episode, we went out and looked for a brimstone. Uh, look at this. I'm just dumping stuff everywhere. It's crazy. I think that was deliberately to go off, but whatever. Um, so let's go get that brimstone. Uh, if we didn't use all of it up already. Uh, no, it's in here. 374. Let's grab all of that. Well, that's, that's heavy. Yeah, the heavy armor is great, but I'm missing the uh, carry capacity. Maybe the standard heavy armor would give me carry capacity, but I'll take the the, the things I found. Um, so we're going to go to the cauldron. And we're going to put the brimstone in there with the tar. This opens up steel fire, it's called. Not steel bloom, sorry. Uh, and let's just make uh, 30 of those. Uh, and the other thing you can see that we've already got unlocked and available to us is a uh, stone consolidant, uh, which is resin plus plant fiber. And I'll just go ahead and make 10 of those as well and I can show you. Um, and that will be used together with normal bricks to make hardened bricks. And they're going to be useful for us for uh, tier 3 building components, albeit we're not going to uh, get too much into that in this playthrough, at least not at this stage, maybe in a much later episode when we're kind of settled and everything but we'll see um right so let's take our first 10 of these steel fire like so uh, and if we take that with us and put that into the furnace together with iron bars you will see down here in the crafting queue um that it is now going it is now going to make steel bars it's always going to prioritize the metal over the brickwork over the stonework so there's all of the iron coincidentally finished and now because we've got this improved furnace plus especially our thrall it's only a smelter too but you know crafting speed 1.5 times you can see it making these steel bars so these are the first steel bars that we've actually made for ourselves so the tools that we constructed before the uh the steel pick um this is how you would get the steel in order to create those tools uh, on the blacksmith you don't need the improved blacksmith bends either to do it just the basic one and obviously having unlocked the knowledge um, but this is just uh, showing you as an example um, that's those are our first 10 bars I think it's probably something like 25 per to make uh, the weapon uh, or any of the tools oh it's 22 there you go I'm not sure if that's including a reduction because of the blacksmith it might be not sure unclear but anyway um, that's how you create steel Hopefully I didn't go through that too quickly for you. Um, that's how you create steel um, in order to make your steel tools. Your steel tools in turn allow you to gather a lot more resource um, when harvesting uh, the respective items. And so it just goes. So on and so forth. Um, let's have a look at our knowledge now. Under survival, we've unlocked all the things here that we had points for. And we chose the stove over the butcher's knife. Um, the pickaxe that I'm using unlocks at level 43. We're level 31. So you can see how, why I was so happy and why we're so lucky getting this pickaxe. Because it just cuts down how many tools you've got. You know, it depends what you want to do and how you choose to do it. But in, uh, 
can theoretically save you quite a lot of time it also harvests a different variety of resources as you saw with the tree gives you the resin and the branches and the wood um so that you don't have to use a pickaxe on a tree to get the uh, resin albeit you still need to do it oh for the bark no it'll even give us a bit of bark as well won't it? yep so yeah there you go all right i think we've covered a really uh, quite a lot of ground uh, in this episode, all, to all told, uh, was there anything else I kind of promised to look at in this one? We did religion. We've looked a little bit at the level 30, so unlocking all the steel and the improved benches. Um, we've got the improved carpenter that we didn't make. We did look a bit at the sorcery table and unlocking... Um, uh, unlocking uh, spells. So we've covered that one. We went to the crystal cave. So you know now how to make glass. You know where to get crystal from. Uh, we've looked at the fish trap and we looked briefly at the farming. Oh, let's let this guy come past here and do his job. Um, yeah, here we go. And here's all the different plants growing. Uh, this one, these are uh, highland berries. So that was just from one of the uh, loot drops that we got. The highland berries, so we wouldn't normally see that yet. Um, actually, we can take some of those, put them in the fluid press, and see what we get from Highland Berries being crushed. Uh, here we've got Grey Lotus Seed. I, that doesn't look like it's growing anything. Oh, I think that needs potent compost. I think that might be why that's not growing. Only just clicked in my mind. Yeah, I think that's what that is. So, um... What are that? We got Asura's Glory seeds. Maybe they'll grow. If not, we could put the aloe seeds back in. Let's see what crushing these Highland Berries gives. That gives us Highland Berry Pulp. There we go. Again, just another Thirst Quencher, I think. 20 minutes. So, same difference. Just berries. Uh, for now. Um, let's have a look. Let's see if this other plant will grow. I think the grey look yeah look so the azura's glory will grow that's that nice kind of pink purple uh flower so that'll bring some different color into the into our little area here in our little garden um but the grey lotus seeds won't grow with that compost there you go so the game doesn't really give you a clue or it just sort of says nope nothing happening so yeah if you're putting stuff in your planters and saying like why is nothing growing it's got compost it's got the seeds uh, it might be because it's a specific kind of uh, plant that needs something else. I shouldn't put that in there. Right, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. One last thing for this episode, um, which is just because of the timing. We'll, I'm going to go up to the Sacred Hunt. Um, on my own, I'm just going to run and dodge everything. And we'll record the whole thing, and if it's fun, we'll leave it in. And if it's kind of just like, oh, it's me running everywhere... Um, then I will just show you the sacred hunt place. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to take our um, fangs. We've got 14 of them. I do not know if that's going to be enough to get anything from the event. Um, but we'll just go up there and see. We'll see what happens. And we'll see a different part of the map. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and see. run past the entrance see if we get the name of that place. Um, but yeah, I, I, I totally empathize if it's not your thing. <laughs> Because uh, they do a pretty good representation. What's this place called? It's got more crystals in it. Oh, there's no name to it. Oh, that's... Oh, there you go. Warren of Degenerates. It only gave me the name on the way back out again. Well, luckily, <laughs> we're able to uh, not get into a big scuffle there with all those. We probably could have taken them. But I don't know if those imps are tougher than the other imps. They might be. We are. So, again, as a general principle, once you get away from the Newby River, the further north you go, and uh, it's fairly similar, the further east you go, the more and more dangerous things are going to become. So, be warned. I'm going to go up here because we're, we're going to go left or westward. The uh, guiding light again in the, in the sky, so we know to head that way. We just have to pick a path that's going to take us there isn't going to be super super deadly let's go down here get away from that hyena 
But yeah, you can start to see that there's areas with a lot more resources. Um, but just not somewhere where you'd necessarily want to start completely fresh as a, as a new player. Uh, this is the Slave Road. And this leads up to what's called the Unnamed City. Uh, and that is a very, very dangerous location. So no buenos in there. Do not go in there. You can, obviously can, you know, the, the principle applies across the map. You can more or less run away from everything, but the earlier you go somewhere in there, uh, the more likely you're not going to enjoy it. Here's the Imperial Highway, uh, because uh, you're going to run out of stamina and something might have reach or just be quick enough that it's going to just snag you. Um, or you didn't see it in time, whatever sneaks up on you. And one way or another, none of the buenos, you're going to go down. And then if you're playing on standard settings, you'll have lost all your gear and you probably have no chance to get to the to your body. So you've been warned. <laughs> no risk, no fun. <laughs> all right, here we go. Is a big, wide, open stretch of desert. And uh, obviously different trees and things that we're seeing here. And then there's an oasis. There's a religious uh, area just up here where you can learn some more religious knowledge. Uh, and there's snakes. Uh... Big old king cobras and even bigger boa well, constrictors or whatever they are. Terrifying. Uh, there's also some scorpions. Here comes a snake after us. No, I don't want it. There's a big snake over there. Should we fight this? Let's fight this one. Let's see what happens. Ow, he got me. He got me. That's because that's, he's low to the ground. He got me. So I've been poisoned now. Oh, there you go. Uh... I think there's a little surprise up on this hill somewhere for us. We've got to be careful around this water area. You see that over there? Look. That is a boss rhino. <laughs> He's very big and hits very, very hard. So, again, fight it if you want to. <laughs> It'll be similar to what we saw with the crocodile earlier. You're not gonna you're not gonna win if you're uh, fairly early on in the game. I'm not going to take it on. All right, let's go and talk to these folks. Because there's some knowledge we can learn here. I think we can learn about Mitra. And uh, if you attack them, yeah, they're pretty low level, but it's a bunch of them. So it's Blessings up to you again. Upon you, let's learn the emote by Mitra learn and learn Akli of Mitra. There you go. So we've learned, if we look under you have the look of worship, we now know by Mitra, which or is both. this one. Those paths are cool. dead ends, pilgrim. The path of Mitra right. is the one true path. So I think that uh, gives us the knowledge. And then again, these are all civil, if you don't hit them first. And somewhere up here, although there you go, there's another one of these ghosty ghosts. So if we follow the ghosty ghost, it usually leads us to some kind of lore or, or it might lead us to our deaths. So let's keep going. I can't remember exactly where the thing is here. I think it's just at the end of the scaffold or is it in the... No, there it is. Okay, interact with that. You have acquired the knowledge. Specialist Cooking 7. So, this wretched heat, it spoils meat faster than a Shemite it runs from battle. My search for the essence of pure flavor brought me here, but I find nothing can be learned from this scorching hell. What tidbits I've managed to learn I have written down at the back of this journal, some more useful than others. There you go. So, those cooking recipes. I believe there's nothing in those boots. I believe also that you might be able to get yourself trapped in them. So, I don't recommend jumping in there, but you know... Do, do as you will. <laughs> Be prepared to have to respawn. Uh, okay, there's something else. Oh, there's another book here. There we go. We have learned a new emote called Score. What does that one look like? Uh, conversation? No. Uh, miscellaneous? Seren? No, that's not it. Uh, expression? Theatrical, submissive, thoughtful, scared, terrified. Okay, it's not in there. Celebrate. Score. Yes! Ah, oh, there you go. 
Another new emote. So if, like me, you're a fan of emotes, have at it. Um, here's a chappy you can talk to uh, and learn something about the place behind. And that is a dungeon, as you might expect. And it's really cool. I believe it's called Midnight Grove and you've got to give him some... Uh, some fun stuff. Let's have a quick look at it. Well, no, no, no. We'll save that for another one where we've got more time. All right. But while this event lasts, the sacred hunt, around the back of that dungeon entrance, there is a special area. What have I attracted now? I've drawn another. Oh, he was hiding in the sand. Little biscuit. Okay. Down you go. Up here is where they brought in, and this was completely all added in, obviously not the platform we're standing on, um, but the Sacred Hunt event. And if you get the fangs, you can come talk to these people and swap the fangs for stuff and things. So here's the bloody tongue of Jabal Sag. Bloody tongue. Another pilgrim uh, enters the Savage Garden. What could you tell me of Jabal Sag? Before the before. Jebel Sa <laughs> reigned over all I the earth, purring to her voice. over all beasts, including humankind. All predators and prey worshipped him and spoke the same language. Hmm, interesting. Tell even me more. now, separated by ten thousand tongues, even now, when the corruption of civilization peaks, the god of all beasts walks among us. Sometimes as a man, sometimes as an animal. And mm. you will know him by eyes that burn like yellow coals in the dark. That's scary. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all of those. I will let you discover it for yourselves. Um, however, she has quite a few other things to tell. I believe she's mostly just lore. Um, exposition and that, uh, and nothing that is specific to, uh, um, drops or items or anything. There is a, an altar to Jabal Sag here, uh, and there is this guy, Master of the Hunt, and this is the one that you want to talk to about your fangs. Lovely weather for a hunt, eh? Who can Bringing talk with him? Bringing offerings harvested from the hunt to honor the Prince of Beasts, Jabal Sag. In return, I will give goods to aid your hunts. There you go. Defeat Jebel Sag's nocturnal hunters and champions. Collect the trophies that bring his favor. <laughs> Excellent. So there you go. If I extended the nights out, we'd be able to make more of this. Okay, trade. And here we go. Uh, my inventory on the left, obviously. On the right-hand side, um, items with a price. Uh, War Paint of Jabal Sag Hunter is one fang. A Champion's Lure, uh, which is used for some of the event content. Um, uh, essentially, there are, uh, you know, uh, some champions that you can fight and you have to lure them out to get them into that combat. So it's like additional uh, event time limited boss fights and things like that. Uh, Potion of the Hunt, I'm not sure what that does. Uh, Scroll of Bestial Regalia. Um, uh, feral claws, so I think outfit, weapons, uh, warhammer, so another weapon, throne of Jabal Sag, so it's a decor piece for 300. I already have that. Um, what a surprise, I went for the decor. Um, a scroll of spike trap, so some kind of time limited, presumably booby trap, or whatever you can place down. Uh, scroll basin of Jabal Sag, that's actually, I believe I have that, that is a thrall pot. Um, the scroll of Jabal Sag. Not sure what that does. Uh, if I click on it, uh, a note scroll on a uh, a note scroll on a small scroll. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, Lemurian bla brazier. Um, I think that might be something I missed out on, so I'm missing it again this time. Um, 150 fangs, um, and that's just another decor piece, but it's an absolutely amazing looking uh, brazier. If you go into creative mode, I think you can. Uh, use it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, red bioluminescent mushroom, green bioluminescent mushroom, war, wall paint, mammoth. So you can have a mammoth on your wall. 
a rhino, a panther, a were hyena, um, an emblem icon of Jabal Sag for 200. And these ones are quite cheap, actually. These, the, you know, the things for the walls. That's that's cool. And then you have a were hyena hunter. So you can get for 250 fangs, you can get yourself, I think, one of these little fellers as a pet. That's pretty cool. I think pretty cool. Has just added content into the game. Is this guy one you can talk to? No. I wasn't sure. Okay. But yeah, you can get yourself one of those and train that up as a pet to fight side by side with you. Welcome, Hunter. Uh, we don't have very many, so let's get let's trade something just for the heck of it. Uh, I've got 14, so not even enough to get these. These wall paints would have been quite cool. But yeah, I'm not going to have time to play this, so. Let's just get ourselves a war paint of Jabal Sag. There you go. Traded that in. Um, so my fang wins down to 13 and I've got this war, uh, war paint. I come out of there and I right click. I'm now wearing, if I take my shirt off, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Neat. All right. And this YouTube's out there. There's uh, all sorts of wiki stuff and everything. You can just look it up. Pretty easy. It's not my goal to uh, explain all these things in depth uh, in the beginner's guide. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. I do think there's one of the quirks with some with one of the hunt things or the boss thing is I think you have to be naked as in wearing no armor when you go into fight. So you need a really good weapon and really good health and stamina. No armor. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> oh look, a rock nose. All right, should we go and fight a rock nose? I'm not going to do very well because I've got these stabby stabby blades, and I need something that sunders their. Uh... Let's uh, draw this one out a little bit. Yeah, he's not very tough, but I think this is only a little baby one. But you can see we don't do very much damage because I mean we're, we're doing okay because it's a low level, but ow, that wasn't fair hit me because of uh, some sort of decent nope no 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 oh he missed all right we do okay these are only the iron poignards so when we get some steel weaponry uh, we'll do a bit better um and when you take these out you get your pickaxe out and harvest them like that and depending on what type of rock nose it is you'll get uh stuff and things right let's get out of here i don't want to like millions of them. I will see you back at the base. Ah! Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> it's still chasing! Actually, there's one other thing I should show you. Um, there is this huge encampment here. I don't remember the name of it, but this is... Uh, yeah, just be ready for like... A big old fight because it just goes on and on and on there's there's lots and lots going on in that encampment there's recipes there's all sorts of loot powerful thralls and i believe there's an area where oh this is called the den there you go there is um there is an area where you can actually do some trade with some in-game currency you can exchange it i don't think uh, yeah so I don't know if you can sneak in or climb around or whatever. Maybe you'd be able to let's, let's, let's see how tough these guys are. Oh, there's two of them. I don't want to fight the archer as well. So I need the archer to uh, give up. I'm being drawn far enough away. I think the swordman gave up. Okay, excuse me, young lady. Oh, look. She's got 300 health. So even when we hit her quite hard... She's, uh, I just want to see if she's got some good armor that we can take with us. Okay, she's gone melee now. Okay, she's a bit dazed and confused from our stabbings. Ow! Sword guy! Okay. So, you know, if you were looking for a good fighter, you might be able to get yourself. I'm also curious, maybe they've got some good weapons that I can uh, borrow from them. You know, borrow. Oh, no. Let's have a little heal potion. <laughs> it's 
still got seven stacks of bleed on him, so... There we go. Down he goes. Have it, sir. Alright, what have you got? That looks like a nice sword. Can I have that sword? No. Uh, hyena fur gloves, bat skin, savory jerky, and a tooth necklace. Okay, the necklace will be some treasure. Jeff will be happy. And she's got uh, hyena chest fur, so medium armor. Okay, some tusks, repair kit, and another necklace. All right. Oh, there you go. We've got some stuff. Medium armor. Concussive damage 5, though, so it's got a buff to that. That's cool. Armor value 60. Follower damage 4 as well. Huh. That's kind of cool. This one just gives you 12, uh, 20 health points and 84 armor. Okay. It's a shame that we got tops and bottoms and not some of the other. But there you go. But yeah, that place has got... Uh, there are some NPCs you can buy some very intriguing items from in there. Um, but it's pretty... Uh, pretty dangerous. Um, but we've unlocked the location now on our map. So there, the den. Um, Alright. I'll head us back home. And uh, that'll be a wrap for this time. I hope sincerely that you've enjoyed this episode. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're enjoying, what you're missing, uh, if you're a beginner. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to cover it in the next one. Take care, folks. Good vibes. And may you survive.